So I finally did it. I finally finished Elden Ring after a couple months. I believe it came out the end of February. And I have played this game off and on since then. I haven't really played any other game aside from that. I think I took a break to play through the House of the Dead remake. And that was it. And that game is only like an hour long at most. And I'm just going to say this here. As somebody that's never beat a Souls game or Bloodborne or Sekiro or Demon Souls, or, you know, I guess it all kind of comes together with the Soulsborne stuff. But I finally finished Elden Ring. Finally. And I think I ended at 104 hours. Now, that's going through the whole campaign, the main campaign, and a bunch of side stuff. I know there's a whole lot more content on there, and I know a lot of people's probably put way more time in it than I have. But I'm just going to say it. People are right. You know, the Souls community, they're they're right. These games are satisfying to beat. Now, I'm probably going to get some crap because I asked for help using the... Uh, whistles to get some co-op stuff. I I had to like some of the bosses. I just couldn't do it. Couldn't manage it. And you know that option's there where I can summon another player to come in, or two players to come in and play through the game, which just through through the boss fights. And I've done that a few times. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, a lot of it I did by myself. Uh, vast majority of it. And again, I'd say it was like 104 hours. In the first few hour few maybe 20 hours i was getting my ass kicked like constantly to the point where i wanted to give up and i just kept on pushing on and you know if i ran into a boss i didn't you know couldn't figure out i would be like okay i'm just gonna walk away and go another direction and that's what you can do in this game it's really good because you know you can literally if you get stuck somewhere you're like okay i'm just gonna go the other way to see what's down that way and this world is huge it's probably one of the I don't know if it's the biggest open world game I've ever played, but it's pretty, pretty big, uh, more than you would think. But after a while, you kind of get used to the layout and everything. Some things look the same, um, somewhat, but the art direction with this game is insanely gorgeous. It's, it's a beautiful game graphics wise and art style. It's insane. Like those guys, uh, from software, they knew how to make a stunner, and they did a pretty good job. Pretty good job. Um, I think it even looks better than the Demon Souls remake, and the Demon Souls remake looked amazing, and uh, Blue Point did a really good job on that. Um, but Elden Ring has been so good, so good, and you know, I, me, like I said, I've the closest I ever beat to a Bloodborne Souls game was. Jedi Fallen Order, and, you know, that was a good game. It had the Souls Combat, but, you know, it wasn't as difficult. But that always turned me off from those games. It was like, man, this is just way too hard. I don't have the patience. You know, I would buy these games anyways. I'm like, I'm going to eventually go back and beat them. But finally finishing Elden Ring makes me want to go back and play those games. Now that I kind of know what I'm doing, it took me forever to know what I'm doing. I, like I, it took me forever, but I kind of know what I'm doing now. You would think after a hundred some hours, even though my character, oh man, stats are pretty bad. Um, I, I've never been good with um, aligning stats on an RPG. Never have been. Uh, the the best I ever thought was maybe Skyrim and Final Fantasy. Um, with a materia grid or spear grid, stuff like that. But as far as <laughs> making the character on uh, Elden Ring, you know, I, I was like, you know what? I'll be super strong. Well, some weapons you can't use unless you have X amount of points in some place. Some spells you just cannot use unless you have points in another place. They want you to create a well rounded character. You know, basing, I don't think, in my opinion, basing all your stats on a couple attributes like strength and vigor, 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 uh, vigor, is that right? Um, it's not really good because you're slow, one thing. That's just me. Now, you know, you'll probably be like, oh, well, 
You could have played the game and just beat it with a banana, wearing just your boxer shorts, with a toothbrush in your mouth, and your hair's on fire. Dude. <laughs> sorry, I'm yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not one of those guys. I'm not that good at that game. And, you know, it's it, the game was such a refreshment for me. Um, like I said, I, you know, at the end, the final boss, you know, I did get help. I did. And, you know, I'm not ashamed to say it. There's times in the game where I just be like, okay, I've got this option where I could summon in somebody random and they could come in and help. And it wasn't until just last week that I joined an actual Reddit group. And I think it was called Beyond the, Th the Fog. And actually had somebody join me and they, that's who helped me finish the last boss and i was stuck on there forever forever for a couple of weeks or more and I, I was about to give up i was like no nah, I'm, I'm done then when it finally happened like you know i helped out and basically the guy did all the work for the most part like his stats were probably insane and he just kicked ass man and I like seeing the credits that Elden Ring was satisfying. It's like, man, I, you know, I played through his game, you know, it gave me a lot of hell. I tried to give it hell back and I don't know. It's, it's incredible. Um, if you're on the fence or if you've played a souls game before and you didn't think it was your type of tea, kind of tea, I would highly suggest you give this one a chance. It's, it's really good. I, I'm just saying it's probably one of the best games I've played in years. A very long time. And I mean high up there. I'm probably on the top favorite games of all time list. Now, like I said, it makes me want to go back and play through the old, other Soulsborne games. And I might do that after I take a small break and play through some shorter games. Like right now I'm playing with Azura's Wrath and it's not what I thought it was going to be, but it's interesting. But, yeah, if, if you're wanting a recommendation on a good game, play Elden Ring. There's tons of content. Uh, the art style is great. The controls are great. It does take time to get used to it. Um, you know, there's always a way around things uh, in the game. You, you're, you, you know, rather it be doing co-op or leveling up somewhere else or finding new better gear. Um, there's always a good way around it. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.